In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create your own editor window. This way we can extend the editor and add our own commands into it. This way we can uh, customize everything that we see here. But in this tutorial, we're just going to be creating something very simple, just a custom window. And in here, we're going to be creating a little button that we can click and spawn a cube within the editor itself. So this is not in game, it's just directly into the editor and we can spawn as many cubes as we want to move them around. We can also customize this later to spawn cubes maybe randomly within the world or if we want to create some kind of uh, terrain generation or anything like that, we could do that as well. So right now this is just going to be kind of a beginner tutorial into uh, just creating custom editor functions and windows, but uh, we'll get into more advanced stuff in the future. So yep, we'll jump right into the code and I'll show you guys how to set this up. So the first thing we're going to do is go into our assets and we're going to want to create a script where we're going to be creating our editor window. So if you just right click on any folder and you add a C sharp script, you can name it whatever you want. And from there we can get started creating our window. So the first thing we're going to want to do once we open up our script is add this using Unity Editor. What this will do is allow us access to the different components that the Unity Editor uses so that we're able to use it within our code here. The next thing we're going to want to do is add this editor window in replacement of mono behavior there. This will specify that this class is our editor window and allow us to be able to create that window. So the next thing we're going to do is add this menu item here. So what we can do is create a path on our toolbar and this will just be kind of just a custom thing where we can store that window. So when you saw in the preview earlier of me going to tools and clicking on custom window and that popping up, that's how you set that up. So you can also, instead of creating your own custom one, you can also add this to an already existing uh, spot on the toolbar if you just name it uh, properly. And from there, once we have that set up, we're gonna wanna create this public static void show window. So what this is going to do is allow us, once we click on our custom window tab, that it's going to pop up with our specified window that we want to open. So we're going to be creating this get window and it's going to be just referencing our custom editor window here. So just make sure that naming convention matches. And then you can name the window whatever you want. I just named my custom editor window just the same as my class to keep it simple for now. Next, what we wanna do is actually add some components to that window. So the first thing we're going to be adding is a label. And this is just to keep track of um, pretty much just organizing our buttons. So for right now, we're not really gonna have too much, but in the future, if we have multiple different sections within this window and we kinda wanna organize it, we wanna make sure that we are keeping the proper naming conventions and keeping everything organized. So for now, this is just going to be set up just to reference our spawning of our cube. So uh, this statement here is going to just create a GUI button and it's going to be something we can just press to spawn our cube. So right now, uh, I just have the button name spawn cube. Uh, we can customize this more in the future if we want, but for right now, we're just going to keep it simple. So within here, what we're going to be doing is creating a spawn cube method. And what this is going to do is just spawn a single cube whenever we press this button. So if we go down here, I have created another method that is just spawn cube. So just make sure these two match. And what we're going to be doing is just creating a simple primitive cube within here. And we are going to be setting that cube at the 0, 0, 0 position. Now we can definitely add on to this and make a for loop if we wanted to spawn a bunch of cubes. If you're creating um, some kind of world where you want to spawn a bunch of objects in a certain vicinity, or if we were spawning something like a, um, a bunch of terrains, if we wanted to create some kind of open world game. But for now, I'm just showing you guys the very basics on how to get this set up. 
So we are going to jump back into our editor and just take a look at this one last time. So now that we're back in the editor, I'm just going to kind of go over this one last time just for people who might be beginners in this. So here is the uh, tools option that we added. Like I said before, you could add it to this window if you just name that path as window. So it would get added in here. So um, for right now, we just have our own little tools area. And if we click on this, you can see that it spawns our little window. We can see custom editor window set up here and named. And here's this little label with our cube spawner and then here's our button. So yep, every time we press this button, it's going to instantiate it within the editor. So this is a uh, cool way if you're just looking for a way to spawn things, not just in game, but out of game as well. And yep, I've used this before for world building and just creating stuff really fast within the editor. So if you wanted to just spawn a bunch of these, if you had a prefab and you're sick and tired of, you know, dragging your prefab from uh, one of your assets folders into the game, uh, this way you could set up a prefab that does it automatically every time you press that button. So yep, in the future we can definitely expand on this. I definitely want to make a tutorial covering that world generation. Uh, it definitely makes my life a lot easier when I'm developing open world style games instead of having to constantly, you know, go to tool or game objects, 3D objects, and create trains over and over and set up all the settings. Uh, sometimes you just want to generate the whole entire world and then start building from there. So I think that's something I'm going to cover in the future. Uh, there's plenty of other editor, custom editor, um, tutorials I could make covering other things like um, definitely spawn systems and different things like that that you can visualize and debug within the editor itself. But for now, I think this is a good stopping point to where you guys can mess around with this. You can create your own uh, different settings in there. And if you want, you can create your own instantiated game objects from uh, a prefabs folder or anything like that. So yep, thanks for watching guys. Please hit that like and subscribe button and hopefully I'll be creating a lot more tutorials uh, in the near future. Now that, uh, you know, COVID's been around for a while, things have kind of slowed down and I thought I might just get back into making tutorials so you can look forward to that in the future. You can also check me out on Patreon and Twitter. Um, yep, thanks guys for watching. Mm -hmm.